Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a quick and easy car transformer effect. First of all scroll your video to something like 1 second and duplicate your video, then cut duplicated layer at that moment. Now make sure to toggle off bottom clip and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on duplicated layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with selection, make sure to click on invert foreground slash background and then click on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now make sure to trim your work area, match it to the length of duplicated layer, then go to content aware fill tab, copy my settings and click on generate fill layer, wait until analyzing is done. Once the analyzing is done, bring back work area to its normal length. Now toggle on bottom layer and duplicate it. Move it above fill layer. Now scroll to the moment where fill layer ends and cut duplicated layer there. Now right click on left part of your clip and pre-compose it. Right click again, go to time and select, freeze frame. Cut frozen layer as well. Now we have a still image and then video goes normally and it means we can begin making an effect. We should now mask out all car parts now, in my case I will begin with this skylines bumper. Select frozen layer and rename it to bumper. Now grab a pen tool and mask out bumper as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with the mask, duplicated bumper layer, then press M on your keyboard and delete mask on it. Now I will mask out the hood on this skyline, so, rename duplicated layer to hood and then grab a pen tool and mask the hood. Once you have masked the hood too, duplicate it, press M and delete the mask on duplicated layer. Now I will mask the windshield. Rename duplicated layer to windshield, then grab a pen tool and mask windshield as smooth as possible. Do the same masking to all car parts, I will skip it and let's jump to animation. Once you have finished masking, go to very beginning of your car parts layers and select the very first part, in my case it's bumper, press S on your keyboard to open scale. Now double click on anchor point tool and move the anchor point to the center of the bumper. Now click on scale stopwatch icon and change scale to 0%. Then go to very end of bumper layer, right click on scale and select, reset, this will bring the scale to normal. Bumper animation is ready. Now select another car part, in my case it's hood. Do the same, double click on anchor point tool and move anchor point to the center of the hood. Then click on scale stopwatch icon and set the scale to 0%. Then go to very end of hood layer and reset the scale. Do the same to all car parts. I will skip that part and let's jump to adjusting the keyframes and curve in graph editor. Once you have finished with animation, select all car parts layers and press U on your keyboard to open keyframes. Then select all scale keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Go to graph editor now and make a smooth curve, copy mine or play around until you will be happy. Enable motion blur on all car parts layers. Lastly we can add shake effect. I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.